What is up guys? Brit Tech here back with another video and today I am going to be doing the iOS 13.1.2 software update. Many of you know that this update comes just days after the 13.1.1 software update and with any major update such as iOS 13 there's going to be some bugs and errors that need to be worked out. So for 13.1.1 software update, it was to fix some bugs and errors, and I believe the same is going to be for 13.1.2. So I'm just gonna walk you through a brief tutorial of how to do this software update, but I also wanna give you some insight onto why this update is occurring. So we're gonna go ahead and go to settings on our iPhone, and then go down to the general tab, and then go to software update, Okay, so with this update, it says iOS 13.1.2 includes bug fixes and improvements for your iPhone. And as you can see, this is 77.4 megabytes. And then if you go down to learn more, it'll give you a more um, detailed view of what is going to be happening during this update. So I'm just going to read it for you guys. iOS 13.1.2 includes bug fixes and improvements for your iPhone. This update fixes a bug where the progress bar for uh, iCloud backup could continue to show after a successful backup. It also fixes an issue where camera may not work, addresses an issue where the flashlight may not activate, fixes a bug that could result in a loss of display calibration data, fixes an issue where shortcuts could not be run from HomePod, and addresses an issue where Bluetooth may disconnect on certain vehicles. So that is exactly what all this update is going to be fixing. I highly recommend doing this update if you missed out on 13.1.1 and decided not to do it. I definitely recommend doing the 13.1.2 update, especially since iOS 13 is new to iPhone. So okay guys, I'm just gonna go back and we're gonna go ahead and make sure the Wi-Fi is on. And then I'm going to download and install. Okay, passcode required. Okay, so let's go ahead and wait while this updates. Update requested. So yeah. All right, preparing update. Hopefully it doesn't take too long, as I said before. It was only 77.4 megabytes, so that shouldn't take too long. Okay, so it actually was downloading and now it says to install. Verifying update. Okay, so it finally has began to install and we're just going to wait a little bit more. These software updates tend to have a lot of waiting involved. So yeah, guys, just bear with me. Okay, guys, so as you can see, the update has completed. Your iPhone has been updated to iOS 13.1.2. So guys, go ahead and update your phones again. This update is highly recommended. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And peace.